everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some updates and changes to my channel. I've done quite a lot of these videos um, over the years of doing my channel and it's just updates, you know, where my channel is at at that specific point. So the only things really that are going to be changing that I'm going to be talking about um, are when my videos are going to be scheduled, uh, how many videos I'm going to be doing a month and generally just how often I'm going to be able to reply to comments and you know how active I'm going to be on uh, well I don't really class YouTube as social media but you know as well as Instagram as well um you know how um you know active I'm going to be on those so it probably won't be a very long video because I don't really have much to chat about um but I thought I would colour in my Narisa de Europa whilst I am chatting just to give you something interesting to look at. Um, I have not been prepared with the colours and stuff that I'm using but I figured that I would start on this side anyway. Um, I'm filming this video in advance before the video goes live so um, I actually only filmed my what's in my colouring bag video a couple of days ago. So I'm hoping to just, yeah, continue with this. So um, that is now on my channel. So let me just grab the, the colour that I need and then I can start chatting. Otherwise I am going to not be able to concentrate. So yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is just generally videos. So... I have never really in the past scheduled videos and that's purely for the reason that when I had more time I would just film a video when I wanted to and upload it. That's kind of how it worked and that suited me very much when I had more time. Um, but now that I am getting more busy I personally am finding that scheduling videos is so much easier for me and I don't know if you've noticed but I have actually been scheduling most of my videos um, and they've been going up around 4pm UK time. And in terms of that time, I'm thinking of sticking to it whenever I upload a video mostly because unless it's an impromptu video that I decide to do, I just feel like 4pm is quite a good time because, you know, if you're in the US and you're like five hours behind or so, it's not too early. And then also... 4pm here in the UK is, is the afternoon so I figured that would work quite well um, so in terms of how many videos I'm going to be doing a month um, as I've said before I've always tried to do one video a week if I can um, recently I've been doing more because I have been um, like off on holiday because I finished school early so I had a lot more opportunity to you know, colour more, which was lovely. Um, I'm still going to aim for one video a week. However, I did have the idea, if I can, to try and do three videos every two weeks. So you're kind of getting that extra video in there. Um, and as I've said before, the three videos that I will always do every month are my completed pages video, my haul video for the month, and also the what's in my bag for the following month. So I did mention my completed pages, but I'm going to be uploading my completed pages video always on the first of every month. My haul video will be on the fourth of every month and my what's in my colouring bag will be on the eighth of every month. So they're all very close together, but, you know, they're not really that much of a hassle to film at all. And I can do them, um, you know, in one go fairly quickly so I can just schedule them and get those up for you. But for the rest of the month, I was thinking, um, depending on when those days fall, that I could do a Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday upload um, over the period of two weeks. Or I could do a Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. So what that means is if um, I did the Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, you'd have those three videos and then you would not have a video for a week but then I would upload on the next Wednesday so it would basically go Wednesday Saturday Wednesday a break of a week and then you'd get another video the next Wednesday and and the same thing with the Saturday Wednesday Saturday you'd then on the 
the third video on the Saturday, there'd then be a week break and then you'd get another video. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing um, because I think that will work quite well. And because the break between Wednesday and Saturday during the week is like the, you know, the, the best um, break because it's, almost, you know, the equal amount of days, I think hopefully that should work so that's kind of my plan it will fluctuate every um month obviously what i'm also thinking of doing is just putting my schedule down in the description of um my videos just so that you know when i'm uploading um which i think is always quite nice and so for this month for example i pretty much know what i'm uploading in the month and I'm still open to doing requests and everything like that so um, I will still do impromptu videos you know if there's a flip through I want to do of a new book or something I will do that um, as an extra so that's kind of where my head's at in terms of videos so I'm sorry if that was a little bit complicating complicated sorry um, I understand that it probably is but yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking just because I think that, that will work. There's no way I can do more than one video a week. I mean, at the moment it's all right because I'm not too busy, but I know with college it will get a lot more busy for me. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see how busy I, I am going to be, but that's what I'm thinking of at the moment. Hi, everyone. I do just want to let you know something that has slightly changed I think from when I mentioned it um, although I will be cutting down on videos I underestimated the amount of videos that I actually managed to pre-film before I started college so I actually do have quite a few videos going out this month I have a video every Wednesday and Saturday so by the time this video goes out um, there will have already been the completed pages video on Wednesday the 1st um, my haul video on the 4th which is the Saturday um, the what's in my colouring bag video which is the 8th and then this video the updates and changes to my channel will be going out on Saturday the 11th so um, yeah I actually have nine videos going out this month which um, is great because lots of them I did pre-film so it's just meant that I can still keep content coming for you um, but probably in October more of the schedule that I'm talking about in this video will be put into place like the um, you know uh two videos sorry three videos every two weeks or something like that so um what i might do is update and let you know um about what the schedule is going to be um, in my completed pages video so that you kind of know how many video videos to expect when they're going to be so if i can be organized and be that ahead then i will let you know in those videos i hope that's all right um back to the video Hi everyone, I did just also want to update you, I have actually finished the page now, I also put up a reel on my Instagram if you want to take a closer look. Um, this ended up being a double spread, as you know, um, in this video I was colouring the background of this page and I just wanted to share it with you because this video was filmed a little while ago and I just wanted to show you up to date what um, I've been working on. So this is the completed page, I'll go into more detail about it in my completed pages but I thought I would show it as well and now to you. So that's really everything in terms of videos. But other than that, I do just also want to talk about my, uh, you know, me being active on my YouTube and also on my Instagram. So uh, at this current time that I'm filming, I have a huge backlog of comments to reply to. And I have said many times before, I really really do appreciate your comments they mean so much they don't go unnoticed and I just love chatting with all of you and they really make my day um you know reading through them hearing your thoughts it really is lovely and you know on YouTube apart from live streams that's really the only way that you can interact with people so you know I really really do appreciate it because you know I get to know you as viewers and subscribers and yeah it's just lovely so yeah I, I do so appreciate your comments um however it is just taking me a little bit longer to reply to comments I have ones that have been up there for a week and I haven't replied and I'm so sorry about that um I've been very busy over the past couple of weeks just generally with things and that's not even with me starting back college so 
if I haven't replied to your comment, it just means that I haven't had time to. I will at some point. Oh, sorry, I've just realised you can hardly see the um, pencil that I'm putting down at the moment. It's such a light layer. Um, yeah, I will reply to it. I try to reply to every single comment on my channel. Um, and if it's been more than two weeks, it means that I haven't seen it. Um, sometimes they randomly get deleted. Sometimes I can't reply to them because there's a glitch. Um, sometimes they go into the, there's like a spam section of comments on my YouTube studio. I don't know why lovely comments would go into spam, but there you go. Um, so I have to approve them and sometimes I forget to check that. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> I hope that makes sense, but I, I'm really, really sorry. Um, and with regards to Instagram, you know, it's pretty much the same thing as well. I I so appreciate all of your comments on there. I don't post as frequently as I should. That's just due to time as well. I tend to only post pictures on there that are relevant in terms of the hashtags for that month. So I found myself not uploading all of my completed pages. So if I only post one picture a month, that doesn't mean that I've only done one picture a month. It just means that that's the only one I've posted. So that's probably how it's going to be because I don't want to get stressed out about having to upload, um, you know, all of all, all of my pictures. But as, I, as I've said before, I'm probably not going to be colouring as many pictures a month anyway. Um, and as I've said in many videos, um, you know, the colouring process for me now is just about enjoying it. It doesn't matter how many pictures I complete. And I did kind of have that thing when I started my channel where I was a bit wary that, you know, I'm making videos, I should be completing lots of pictures. But as many of you have pointed out, that really doesn't matter. And I've come to that same conclusion. So I'm just going to enjoy the colouring process. And if I only complete three or four pictures a month, then that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, um, basically, long story short, my life is going to get more busy and I'm just having to try and adjust to it. And that's probably going to be the case, you know, over the next years. I mean, sorry about that. So, yeah, as I was saying, that's probably going to be the case over the next few years. Um, <laughs> I mean, in hindsight, starting my channel at the time that I did it will just make it harder for me to upload and stuff frequently because of, you know, where I am at the point in my life. Um, I don't think there will ever be the, um, the stage where I can upload every day or three times a week or that sort of thing. So I hope that's okay. I try to create content that I enjoy making and that I think you will enjoy watching um, and I, I really do love making videos and as I've said I can't imagine my life now without YouTube and without this community so without colouring so I'm not going anywhere I'm just trying to figure out how to still stay active without reducing my content um and i'm all i do always put updates and things on my community tabs so if you're wondering where i am the likelihood is i will hopefully put something up there you know if i'm gone it just means that i'm busy and i haven't had time to do a video so i hope that's all right that's a fairly short video um obviously it's just more a, a quick update video so yeah that's pretty much everything i didn't do much really on this page but um I was trying to talk and colour at the same time it's never a good combination with me you can't even see it um because it's just a very light layer of the dark tan if you're interested these are the colours that I used for my autumn background um and the leaves and things like that so yeah that's everything for today I very much hope you enjoyed watching um and I will see you all in my next video Take care, everyone. Bye.